What's up everybody? How you doing today? I'm doing okay. I got a day off. So uh, of course, we're at the garden. So we're going to talk a little bit about cucumbers today. Um, I have four different kinds growing. I've got two sort of full-size cucumbers and two pickling cucumbers uh, both for different purposes, right? Um, so I've got a big trellis there. Holy, it's windy. And we have a plane flying over. You can't film a video here without planes flying over. It's constant. Always ruining my videos. Oh. And that was a big one. Anyways, so let's uh, spin this around and uh, we'll take a little walk down the garden. As you can see, right there, that's all my cucumbers, right? We're, uh, we're growing them up the trellis. So I've grown, I've been growing cucumbers for a lot of years. And I've tried different methods. I've tried growing them up stakes that didn't work too well. I've, uh, I've grown them on the ground. That was an utter disaster. If you grow your cukes on the ground, you can't harvest them properly. Holy shadows, lights. Oh my, there, that's better. It's really hard to film here um, to get good light. Anyways, so if you grow your cucumbers on the ground, right, they grow into this thick mat on the ground. You can't really walk in your cucumber patch to harvest them because you're stepping on vines and you have to, you have to kind of push stuff out of the way and work your way in. And you end up with a lot of bug damage because slugs and other pests that are generally right on the ground They'll just go right after your cucumbers. Uh, they'll, they'll just nibble holes in them. They'll destroy your vines. Uh, they're way more prone to getting diseases because there's no airflow on them because they're sitting on the ground. Dew gets on them, rain gets on them, right? You have a way more pest and disease problems if you grow them on the ground. Um, they're, they're so much harder to harvest that way too, right? And you get like yellow bottoms on, the, on your cucumbers. So I grow them on trellis netting and the nice thing about that is you get lots of airflow because the wind can just blow right through this trellis right and the cucumbers they hang down you get way less disease there's very little pest issues I mean we have cucumber beetles this year um, which is one of the reasons why I waited to plant my cucumbers late because I've been talking to other people here and their squash and their cucumbers and their zucchini have just been utterly decimated which is which is a shame right because if you start your crops early and then you plant them out like i said in a video before i spoke to a girl and she grew her cucumber plants for or what was it cucumbers squash squash maybe she grown them for like two months at home and then she brought them out here and in 10 hours flat her plants were eaten down to stubs 10 hours she planted them one night came back the following day they were destroyed Cucumber beetles are horrible like that. So I grow them on trellis. So we'll flip this around. The cucumbers are finally growing. If you guys haven't seen my cucumber planting video, you should check it out. I planted it, uh, planted them a couple of weeks ago. And I really wasn't sure if these were gonna grow properly because the plugs were all twisted and the cucumbers were not happy whatsoever. So, and I also have planted new seeds in some of the holes where uh, the, either the plants were dying or dead. So let's uh, flip this around. I really haven't taken a good look. We've had a lot of rain and a lot of heat lately. So the cucumbers are really taken off. So we're going to do a bit of work today. So as you can see, pull some of these weeds out. As you can see, they're actually taken off. We've got, see, look, check that out. They're putting out flowers. See the one beside it. Look at that, it's even got some little baby cukes going. Awesome. So some of these plants are new seeds, right? Like this. That's one of the seeds I grew because the pre-existing plant was really not doing so good. So the point of this video is we're going to take a walk up and down the row here. We're going to use clips. If you guys aren't using these yet, 
for, for tying stuff onto a trellis and, and uh, stakes and stuff. I highly recommend these. I've used these same clips for three seasons now. They just don't seem to break. They're UV protected. They work really well. So let's, uh, let's start trellising up some cukes. So the nice thing about these clips, besides the fact that they sometimes get a little tangled when you throw them in a big tote, all right, I've got one that's not tied up. There we go. Is they've just got a little, where's my camera? There we go. So they literally just click together like that and you can undo them at the end of the season and they attach super quick to your plant. So you just grab your cucumber vine, bring it up onto your trellis. See, take your clip. That's it. And now that it's up here, now that it's up here, these tendrils will start to grab onto the trellis. See, and you can even grab, see if we can zoom that in for you. Hang on, let's, uh, I'm, my pathway here is an absolute jungle. And uh, I meant to weed whack today and keep cleaning it up but uh, I couldn't do that because I forgot to recharge my batteries. So. so they've got these tendrils, right? So all you can do as well is you can just grab them. Twist the tendrils onto your trellis netting. Did I get that in frame? Oh, there we go. So you can just twist it onto your trellis netting like that and then it'll just keep on going up so that's all we're going to do we're going to work our way down the line we have what did we count last time 32 32 tomato plants or sorry 32 cucumber plants we're not doing tomatoes or potatoes it's been a long day so we've got more to do we'll just work our way down and the nice thing about this is once we get them up off the ground and the cucumbers realize that they're growing up and not on the ground, they'll just take off like crazy. See, that's all it takes, one per. So some of them, like this little fella here, it's not tall enough. So we'll just, as we work our way down the line, we'll just weed them. A lot of what I deal with here is crabgrass. That's one of my biggest weeding problems. See, and this is why you gotta get to your cucumbers before they get too sideways on you because those tendrils will start wrapping around everything else that they find. So you don't want them growing into your other vegetables because then when you do start to trellis them or move them, you won't be able to because they'll just be so intertwined. It's just going to be an absolute nightmare. Hopefully within a few weeks, We'll be eating cucumbers. I'm pretty excited this year because I'm growing uh, three different kinds of cukes I've never grown. Well, technically, I mean, I'm growing Wisconsin pickling cucumbers and I've tried to, look at this. You wanna see what my pathways look like? That's my pathway. Look at how tall this plant is. This thing's like two feet tall. This is what happens when you get rain and sun and rain and sun. So we're going to end up putting geotextile down here and more straw. But I only have so many hours in a day. So things get done as I have available time. 
And yep, I'm uh, not going to lie, I'm pretty damn embarrassed that my garden looks like this. This is why raised beds are fantastic. You'll never have problems like this in raised beds. So it's always good sometimes to hang the leaves. Oh. Well, that's not going to work because that one's broken. Just stuff that in my pocket. So yeah, so I'm growing Ashley cukes, which are apparently more of a uh, bush type of cucumber and we're growing national pickling cucumbers and we're going to make pickles out of those bad boys See, twist that up there we're making pickles out of those the Wisconsin cukes those are also going to be for pickling and then we're growing uh, straight eights which are going to be like a large slicer type cucumber so big old cricket oh where'd it go so here you can see what i'm talking about so this plant here is one of the ones i planted from seed and i threw two in here so i guess we're gonna have lots growing and then here is one of the original ones i planted so look at how the newly planted seeds have completely overtaken the pre-existing growth so we're probably just going to focus our energy on these ones and if this gets tall enough to trellis well we'll probably trellis it anyways but ah. weed as we go like i said see this plant is see there's a cucumber beetle you see him So when you find them, uh, there's another one. Oh, oh, wow, look at that, one, two. See, that's how they just decimate your plants. They just get in here and they just start eating it. Look, there's two more. There's another one that just flew away. I was hoping that I was going to avoid cucumber beetle season. But uh, I guess there's some, some still around. Clipped it up. I don't even know if that plant's gonna make it. That plant is so sick. We'll give it, some, we'll give it a try. We'll see what happens. Maybe it'll pull through. I'll come back and I'll clean that plant up after. See, we lost that one. That one's gone, though. See, and the other thing about cucumber beetles is once your plants get big enough, see, this one's growing right up through there. That's good. Clip that off to the trellis. The other thing about cucumber beetles, oh, I didn't even get that on the string. The other thing about cucumber beetles and cucumber plants is once your plants get to a certain size, the cucumber beetles can't can't affect it as much anymore because it it's strong enough to withstand the attack of them so but this is great so yeah this is what I'm gonna keep doing guys we're gonna be tying up all these cukes I'm gonna be putting out a bunch of videos I'm gonna be uh, filming everything I'm doing today look at this can you guys see that look Look at that, potato beetles. Look at my potatoes, holy. You see all those? There's, there's gotta be, there's gotta be a thousand on there. They are absolutely decimating. I have never seen that many before. Let's take a look before I, Look at this. Look at these things. They are just wiping out my potato plants. 
They look like big ticks, eh? Wow. Um, okay, so, holy jeez, look at this. I don't, I, I don't even know what to do here. I, I've never seen this before. Check this out. Look at that. They've cleaned this whole plant right out. You guys ever seen anything this bad before? I never have. I, to be honest, I don't, I don't even know. Look at this. There's no fucking plant left. Pardon my language. They've just eaten that down to nothing. Okay. See, normally, my kids get in here and they, uh, they have fun picking off all these beetles, but there's no way I can... I can deal with that. I think I'm going to actually have to go buy... Hey, look at all the potato beetles in here. There's thousands. Okay, guys, well, I'm going to get to this. I got a million things to do and a bunch of filming to do today. And then I have to do some research and figure out how I'm getting rid of all these uh, beetles before they completely wipe out my peppers. So, all right. So, that's my potato or my uh, cucumber video today. Look at that. These are getting nice and healthy, eh? We're definitely going to be eating cukes in no time. So, okay. Have an awesome day, guys. And uh, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. I appreciate it. I love you. Grow good food. Peace.